I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you on application of solving quadratic equations. The question is square ABCD, so that's the square ABCD, has sides with length of 10 centimeters. Points P and Q are on the sides BC and CD. So these are your two points. So that the area of triangle ABP, ABP, triangle PCQ, PCQ, and triangle QDA are equal. Determine the length of PB to two decimal places. So you need to find this length of PB. So let it be X for the time being. So let's read the question once again. You can actually pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So the question for us is, square ABCD has the sides with length 10 centimeters. Points P and Q are on the sides BC and CD so that the area of triangle ABP, triangle PCQ and triangle QDA are equal. Determine the length of PB to two decimal places. So let X be the length of PB. In that case, if X is length of PB, then CP will be 10 minus x. So let me write down this length as uh, 10 minus x. Okay, So that becomes PC. Now what we are given here is that the area of triangle ABP is equals to the area of triangle PCQ and that is also equal to area of triangle QDA. What is area of triangle? We know area of triangle is in general half base times height. So let's write down area of triangle ABP, that is ABP, base is 10 for this. So it is half of 10 times height, which is PB, right? So instead of PB, I can write X is equal to area of triangle PCQ, so which is half. And in this case, the base will be 10 minus x, right? So it is 10 minus x times height is CQ. Let's write CQ here, right? So CQ is equal to area of triangle QDA. QDA, which is half of DA means half of 10 times DQ, times DQ, right? So that is how you get the equation, which relates area of three triangles. All three triangle areas are equal. Now if you compare uh, the first and the third part, what do you see? From there you can conclude that half of 10 times x is half of 10 times dq and therefore you can write dq is equal to x, right? So dq is equals to x. Now if dq is x, that means dq is x, let me write this also as x here then what is QC? In that case, QC should be 10 minus X, right? So this implies that QC should be 10 minus X, correct? So we get uh, DQ and QC in terms of X. Now, we can actually solve for X using any two equations, right? So let us use the first two equations. So we'll use now these two equations to solve for x. So what we're given here is half of 10 times x is equal to, so we could write here as, uh, let me write half of 10 times x is equal to half of 10 minus x times c cube or QC, which is 10 minus X, correct? So both are same. So you can simplify this. So it is like half and half can cancel. So you got 10X equals to expand. It is 10 minus X whole square. So when you multiply, let's apply the distributive property. So we'll do multiply both by 10 first. You could straight away write down the answer also. We get 10 times 10 is 100 minus 10X and then with minus x minus 10x plus x square, right? Now bring this 10x to the right side, combine the like terms. So we have 100 
minus this is 20x plus x square minus 10x. So let's rewrite this with x square first. Leading coefficient is 1 x square minus 30x plus 100. So that is the quadratic equation which we need to solve to get the value of x which is pb which is what length of pb to find. You need to find it to two decimal places so it is better to apply the quadratic formula right. So the quadratic formula is x equals to minus of b that means minus of minus 30 plus minus square root of b square that means minus 30 square minus 4ac a is 1 c is 100 divided by 2 times a, a is 1 right so that is what you get now uh, we could write this as equal to 30 plus minus square root of that is 900 minus 400 right 900 minus 400 divided by 2 and now we can use calculator to find this answer right so we have 30 let us use minus first minus square root of 900 minus 400 equals to divide this by 2 and that is equal to write it, write it in decimals so we get one solution as 3.8 let me round it two decimal places a2 it is 3.819 rounding to two decimal places the second solution could be 30 plus square root of 900 minus 400 equals to divided by 2 equals to in decimals so that is 26.18 well the side length is only 10 so x cannot be more than 10 right so this is not valid so we'll not take this this is not valid since we know x is between 0 and 10 right it cannot be more than 10 so that is not valid and therefore we get one solution that is pb is 3.82 centimeters so that is our answer we say length pb is equals to 3.82 centimeters so that is how you can solve such a question i hope you find it very interesting i am anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best